Technology is a part of modern life now, but in golf, in certain uh, quarters, there's still a little bit of um, maybe scepticism and certainly people aren't embracing it as much as they possibly should. Largely maybe due to not understanding what it can actually do for you and how simple it can become. So luckily we've got Trackman here and we actually have a range version and in the Teaching Academy we have a, a Trackman Pro version which is slightly different. But on the range you can buy some credit and we'll show you how good it can be for your golf just now. So come a little closer. So I've already logged myself in and I'm going to use the shot analysis function just now. So it's asking me to aim for the number five which we have out on the range here. I'm going to select a seven iron and I'm going to hit some shots. Now I'm going to look at carry distance. So all I'm going to do is have carry distance and total distance here. So those two are now down in here so we can figure out how far I hit the ball through the air and how far it will travel in total. Now, most players won't actually hit the ball as far as they think and usually we see that on golf courses, even good shots maybe land front edge of the green or even short after a nice strike. Now generally speaking I hit a six iron about 165 yards through the year. In the moment, really really windy day, we're really unsure of how much the wind will affect things but if you have a little look closer here, the distance I've hit the shot there is 163 through the air and 180 in total. Now, the advantage of the TrackMan Pro we have in the Teaching Academy is that we can actually normalise conditions. So we can say, well, today this is what you got in today's conditions, but flicking one little button, it will calculate what would have happened in a flat cam condition and upgrade from a, a normal hard range ball to a premium golf ball Pro V1 or something similar. So do yourself a favour this winter before the season gets kicked off in April. Get yourself on TrackMan, get yourself a little bit of credit, hit some shots with each iron. Then you can go back home, have a look at how far each and every club travels through the air on average and you can then start selecting the correct club on the golf course, hit the ball closer to the flag and shoot lower scores.